Welcome to Genuine Core guys. This is the 8th video in the Java FX material design tutorial series. And in this video I will show you how to use the ripple effect on some custom components like pane and labels. So I am adding a pane by dragging and dropping it from the library like this. And I want to assign a variable name to the pane and set it as pane. The JFX Ripple class is the one that we are going to use to add Ripple effect to any layout or any control we want. And we have already seen that we have Ripple effect on JFX buttons in the JPhoenix library. And I'm going to import the variables to the control sec section, importing the required header files. So that's it. And JPhoenix provides the JFX Ripple class. JFX Ripple class. Ripple is equal to new JFX Ripple. The Ripple takes a node as a parameter. In this case, I am passing pane because I want to add the Ripple effect to this pane. If you want to set the Ripple effect to some custom components, then you can go for that parameter and the last thing I have to do is I have to add the ripple effect to the program and I am adding the ripple object or the node to the base pane like this it is important to add the ripple component ripple component into the base So let us run the program. So that's it. You got a ripple effect for your panel. And there are some important customization that's available uh, in the ripple class. The first thing is nothing but the color. You can set the color of the ripple using ripple dot set not paint set ripple fill. And it takes a paint and I want to set the pure red, red, green, blue, so I have 0, 0, 0, 0, and we should get the red color, so that's it. And you can also set the type of ripple, see, there is a circle and beneath the circle we can see a rectangle. This is because the mask of the ripple is set to rectangle, set mask type which is one of the customization available for the ripple class and this is the default settings which is j or jfx rippler dot ripple mask dot rectangle ripple so that's why we are seeing a rectangle beneath the circle below the circle and i want to set the mask type to the next one available the circle if you use the circle as mask then you will get a pure circle pure circular ripple uh, frankly I don't like this circular mask so I am setting it to rectangle mask so that's it that's how you set it and so we got a beautiful ripple effect for our pane let's see how to add ripple effect to some other components like label let us add the label from the library and that's it uh, setting the text to something like genuine quarter okay and of course we want to set the variable name to something like my label let us generate the control skeleton view show sample control skeleton and uh, <coughs> change this so that's it we got the label on the code field so we want to generate one more ripple object which is rippler1 and I am passing the label to something like my label and the last thing of all of course is to add the rippler to the base pane and let's see the code the program so we have ripple effect on this pane and in the label we got another ripple effect and I want to increase the size or oh, I want to add some padding 
uh, you know to make this a little bit more beautiful so let me set that set padding new inset to I want to add 10 and let's run the code so now you can see that we got some very nice looking label and uh, the ripple effect for the pain so that's it that's how you use ripple effect in java effects using g phoenix thank you for watching let me know your comments in the comment section subscribe for more cool videos